let's look at more microhabitats. In a woodland habitat, rotting trees are a busy microhabitat. They can be darker and damper than the surrounding woodland. After the tree falls, the bark loosens and can be home to many insects. Some of these mini beasts actually eat the rotting wood like wood lice. Fungus starts to grow in the wood too and helps it rot more quickly. Plants can also grow in the rotting tree like moss. Ferns and flowers. All these plants give shelter to other animals like mice, toads and lizards. With all of these animals finding food and shelter, a log will also attract predators like birds. Let's look at a rock pool now. when the tide goes in and out. As a rock pool is shallow, it can be a lot warmer than the sea. Sometimes you can find small fish crabs and even starfish Sea anemones attach themselves to the rock and feed when the tide comes in Rock pools can keep seaweed wet and provide food and shelter for animals. Microhabitats are all around us. Spaces between pavements and stones, window boxes and trees in cities, or a lone plant in a desert. You just have to look closely. Can you match the mini bees to their microhabitat? Well done, goodbye.